this discussion we will see what is the law of supply right we have covered the scope of economics the demand its determinants and the law of demand and its analysis and its exceptions now we will see what is the law of supply So objectives of today's discussion, I'll just read out for you, is to understand the law of supply and its determinants and also the elasticity of the supply. And your outcome is you'll understand how the law of supply is working out in the market. Yes, so types of elasticity, they are similar to the types of demand that we have discussed earlier. Except that demand is replaced by the word supply. I think we'll go to what supply means. So just try to understand what supply means. We have discussed what demand is. Let's try to understand what supply is. So supply in economics means the amount of product which is available to the customers. Or a supply is a good or service that producers are willing to provide. So law of supply, another basic law, it states that keeping other factors constant an increase in sales price results in an increase in quantity supplied now we'll try to understand this example with the help of a chart so on vertical axis you can see prices plotted on a horizontal axis as usual demand is plotted take example of rice so on vertical axis is the price is in rupees on horizontal axis it's a demand in kgs so in market whenever price is rising and same time you will see why price is rising maybe it's a short in supply right demand is more and supply is lesser that is the reason so because of this scarcity price is rising so all the vendors all the suppliers or the sellers all the manufacturers wants to take advantage of this situation and they produce more and they supply more in the market to match the demand to take advantage of the demand and this is the reason one of the reason why supply keeps rising whenever price is going up so price is going up supply rises and where it ends at certain point of time when supply is in excess then naturally price make it stable or may start falling it's another example i would give it to you is let's understand that there is a shopkeeper who is selling basmati rice and he observes that usually he sells 100 kg of basmati rice every month but this month he has sold 100 kg in first week so demand is picking up and he tries to buy more rice from the dealers and dealers observes that most of the retailers are buying more rice in second week of this month demand for rice is just picking up and for that reason they may increase the price to take, to take advantage number one or because of this situation right, there is a word in the market that demand of certain product like rice is rising and we need more supply so these dealers may ask farmers to supply more quantity or they will try to buy more from the farmers they will store more or they will 
bring it from some other states from other places and try to supply in a market where there is a demand rising so for you know in such a situations price rises supply rises it happens because of such a reasons what is called as a law of supply law of supply can be studied simultaneously with the law of demand right now on the chart you can see the curve ss is called as a supply curve we can plot a demand curve and supply curve together on a single graph paper and then we can study what is happening in a market that gives a better picture supply versus demand right so whenever demand is more than supply we call it there is a tease in the market bullishness and whenever supply is in excess we call there is a mandi in the market bearishness in the market whatever be the product and whenever for very short span of time when demand is equal to supply it is called as a equilibrium state well equilibrium doesn't last longer market doesn't like it market doesn't like equilibrium for longer period so demand is equal to supply this stays there only for few days few weeks but mostly few days right in certain cases it can last longer of course exceptions are always there but market generally likes tezi and mandi there is a volatility in the prices demand also swings up up and down so rarely supply and demand are equal and they stay equal most of the times they are little or more mismatch in that right so uh, from some economist point of view some say because of the mass production of certain goods supply is in excess and price falls uh, well that's not always true you can see soaps and biscuits they are manufactured in mass quantity so that doesn't mean that with the excess supply prices will go down or they are going down those companies they can control the supply they can control the manufacturing quantity and they can uh, definitely control the situation by doing right quantity to be delivered in the market right so uh, we have just considered the example of a shopkeeper selling basmati rice and we consider the lob supply from the seller point of view so uh, i think this is it we'll uh, stop here thank you very much students thank you for your time and good luck